Welcome to HubSpot with Paragon. Today we're going to talk about views and this is a really powerful uh, way of being able to list things out the way that you want to see them. Um, we're actually going to use the new beta that has just come out um, with the table and board on how to actually set up those views. Um, that way as this moves forward this will actually be relevant to um, your video. So if you're using this view right now with the tabs then you're in the right place. If not um, this actually will apply the same way. It is just about filters and how you're filtering your data. So typically if you're using an Excel spreadsheet, you have your columns, which we have listed here. You can always edit those columns. You can always scroll down and see more columns associated with it here. And for some reason, if you wanted to see like the associated company, I can mouse over here when the hand is large, you'll notice that you can actually then drag this over and move the column over to a new area and there we go associated company is now moved over so I can have it in my purview. I can also sort by clicking on the sorted items here in different orders so I can make it alphabetical if I'd like. By default the all contacts actually shows the um, highest ones at the top and then it's asking me if I want to save these changes and clone this to make it its own tab and I can do that here this is a new feature. If I wanted to then uh, on the old one it would say save on the left hand side but I'm going to add in some filters with this as well. And these filters are now going to allow me to choose what I want. So we're just going to choose something like city here. And I can type in ob options now. So if this is a drop down, I'd have drop down options. And in this case, I've got options for um, just spelling it out. So after you've typed in the option you want to hit enter, it will now add it as an option as part of this um, from an option list and I can add in others if I like. But remember it's going to start narrowing it down so it contains exactly Springfield or other items. And then I'm going to apply that filter and now it's going to pull up only the people that have Springfield set as one of their cities. Once this is set as a filter I can save it now or in this case I'm going to clone it because it's cloning it from all contacts and I'm going to leave it as all contacts close, save it and in the new view it's going to create it as a tab here and I can now pin this to keep it here. I can always add a view that maybe I've saved before but I don't want to leave as one of my tabs here at the top so I can pull things like the Cambridge view that I have and I don't think anything matches this but it will pull up as a new tab but remember it keeps all of these that are pinned, that's what this little pin means up here. If I ever wanted to unpin it I can always click on it, click on the carrot drop down and unpin this from the view or I can export this view. And this is just basically a way to filter down your list and make it smaller so you can see the relevant information that you want to see and also see the relevant rows that you want to see. So as I go back over to all my contacts, I'm going to see all of them listed in here for everything. And we're going to click off this filter here delete this condition and now I see all of my previous contacts and clear this. So now I'm viewing all contacts that are listed in here. And that's how you use views. This is really powerful if you're trying to look at maybe things such as leads that are unassigned by owner. If you're looking for areas based on city, maybe the name of the company, maybe the last activity. So if you're looking at maybe the last time you interacted with them, a lot of times you'll create maybe a tab, uh, a list view of everything that's unassigned so that you can assign them to certain team members or for new leads that have come in. And so just be aware that this is a powerful way to be able to kind of list out. Some people look for things like this and they go, I need a report that tells me this. This would be somewhat of a report, but it's a report based on uh, as if you were looking at it from an Excel file. You can export these items as well, manipulate them later if you'd like. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us with something in the comment. And uh, Paragon would love to work with you um, in HubSpot.